Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your reading for December 1st to the 15th. I am going to pull some cards from the Rider Waite Tarot deck and then two Love Oracle cards. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, we have Devil, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Hangman. So it looks like there could be a Capricorn in your life. It doesn't have to be. This is Earth sign as well with the Page of Pentacles. Um, it looks like there's somebody who's very controlling and manipulative, disempowering, toxic even. And, you know, it's... it's With the Page of Pentacles, it could be somebody very controlling. So the Page of Pentacles looks like, you know, there's some kind of offer coming in. Some news of, you know, coming into you of some offer, something real and tangible. It could be financial, it could be a gift, but it doesn't look like it's well received, whatever this is that this person's bringing in or whatever is being brought. And this shows the energy of somebody who's suffering from sleepless nights and nightmares, basically, of like, look at the how she's holding or this person is holding their head. It's like, what have I done? What did they do to me? Why did they do this? Like that kind of energy where it's just very painful. And then the Ten of Pentacles happens where it's rock bottom. And then there's only up to go from there. It signals the end of that toxic cycle. Here we see the hangman, which is waiting and feeling stuck and sacrificing your happiness for others. The King of Wands is here. So it could be an Aries, Leo, Sag in your life or somebody who maybe they work in construction or they're someone who's um, you know, somebody who really works with their hands possibly or somebody who's very creative and artistic. Somebody who is a boss, a leader, very passionate and exciting and magnetic personality type. <clears throat> maybe vain. All right, let's see what we have. For Aquarius, let's get back into the main reading for Aquarius. So many drops, my goodness. Five of Swords, the Moon, and Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like Five of Swords is taking advantage of a situation and it being kept secret. Somebody's doing something, whether it be cheating or taking advantage, winning <clears throat> at the expense of others. And it, the Moon card is showing this kind of keeping it a secret and Seven of Pentacles waiting for the payoff. Just waiting. And the Four of Pentacles on the bottom, <clears throat> it can signal like if you're in a relationship, keeping your options open because you're not truly open in your relationship. You see how this person's holding tight to their coins. So that comes up when if you are in a relationship, you like have a roaming eye or something and somehow manage like do something to sabotage it. Because you're not truly open, whoever that is. All right, so let's see. What else do we have? Let's get a reading here for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in love and romance, please. What does Aquarius, what does Aquarius need to know in love and romance? What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? First card is you, Aquarius. Okay, we got Four of Cups. The person you're dealing with is a chariot. The situation between you two is the King of Wands. Outcome, Ten of Swords again and the King of Wands again. So we got those before in the drop. How you see them, how they see you, your challenger obstacle, their challenger obstacle. And on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of daydreaming, as is the Four of Cups. So for you, it looks like this offer that's being offered, you're not even acknowledging it. The person's under the tree with their arms crossed, very stubborn. And also, you know, it looks like there's some opportunity for love, whatever is being offered, that you're so focused on something else that you're not seeing it. It could be some something social going on in your life, family life. It could be somebody you dated in the past. And so you're so fixated on that that you don't see and you don't want to um, acknowledge 
this other opportunity, this cup. It could be your cup being full. So kind of not acknowledging how blessed you are. Or it could be not acknowledging somebody offering you their heart, their love. Now the person you're dealing with is the chariot. So that could be a cancer, but it doesn't have to be. It indicates confidence. This is the kingmaker card. They go out to war, victory is assured, they come back a king. It's very um, rock star type energy, like very popular and victorious and <clears throat> fast moving and powerful energy with a chariot. It could speak to travel movement, long distance, and them coming in. Now, the situation between you two is the king of wands. There might be somebody in the mix here who is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And as I said, somebody who might be, you know, in the arts, someone very creative or somebody who works with their hands um, <clears throat> and very passionate, very creative, very exciting, bold, big personality. Um, and that could be, you know, the situation between you two is that you might have somebody like this that you're focusing on. Or they're trying to do this and manifest with you. I don't know how that fits in yet. We'll see. The outcome is the Ten of Swords. You know, Ten of Swords is the, a painful ending between you two. It doesn't get worse than this. And I think we saw in the drop a Nine of Swords. It's like, what did I do? What did they do to me? Blah, blah, blah. Why did this happen? Kind of thing. And... <clears throat> Here we get the ending with the Ten of Swords, and it's brutal. Um, how you see them is the Queen of Swords. So you see them as somebody who is very good with their speech, maybe a professional, uh, somebody who is a single parent, divorcee type energy. You see them as someone who's hardened not naive anymore. They keep their heart under like a lock and key. They do everything in love based on what's fair, what's honest and truthful. And that's where they'll give their loyalty to, but not something where they just will just give their love and heart away freely. Now they see you as the hierophant. So they see you as somebody who's extremely traditional very rigid, very um, committed. The Hierophant is, it represents long-standing institutions, basically. So it's a very loyal energy. It's a very committed energy. It's a very traditional energy. That's why you see the Pope. So it speaks to a faith, uh, to faith, a teacher, healer, guru, someone spiritual. So the Hierophant, they see you as someone very, very traditional. Now, <clears throat> maybe married, okay? Your challenge or obstacle is the judgment card. And that means that, you know, you aren't seeing something. I feel there's a constant theme of not seeing something. Judgment means when the horn is blown by Angel Gabriel, it raises the dead. It could be either somebody coming back into your life that you thought was long dead and gone, or it can speak to not getting that wake up call, not realizing something that's right there in your face and not accepting the truth. Um, for them, their challenge or obstacle is a five of swords. So now we see why it ended in 10 of swords. Five of swords, we saw it in the drop. That is a shady energy. It's winning at all costs, an abuse of power, cheating, lying, um, using other people, getting what you want, taking advantage of the situation. So they are in a very high energy with the chariot. It could be that they're like very, with the king of wands and the chariot, they could be somebody who is very even vain, full of themselves, ar arrogant, a dandy type, you know, very self-absorbed and superficial. Anyways, if, if they're someone who's attractive and, you know, in demand, they know it. And, and they're very shady with their behavior because they're here at the bottom of the deck. We see this dreamy energy of 
all these like cups and you know jewels or the victory wreath or the castle or beauty and all these things that people dream about and that's on the bottom it's this card is about building castles in the sky too much thinking not enough action daydreaming and we see it here too with the four of cups that's your energy it's this like being living in your head dreaming thinking about all the things that are possible but you're not seeing what's right in front of you that they are shady they are shady they can't be trusted basically so let's see what we have with amir ceylon's love oracle this is for aquarius can we get a card for aquarius sun moon rising and venus which is aquarius new love great so new love coming in good on the bottom was dating queen yay yay okay so dating queen means getting out there oh so i get it that's what it's saying four of cups three of cups is dating three of cups is dating partying um reunions socializing celebrating cheersing all that type of thing and and this person's so focused on the three of cups they don't see that offer of love they don't see the cup so maybe this new love and going out on dates and you know manifesting that you're not seeing a love offer but you can't trust them and look it comes to an ending here new love is going to come in if when you start dating okay so if they're trying to come in and offer you some kind of like new proposal new connection whatever trying to get back looks like you're not having it because you remember what happened last time and you're focusing on dating and so on and there's a new love coming in all right well and it says true gem someone in your circle that you've overlooked or you didn't take seriously and maybe you just didn't notice and it's saying that they're going to surprise you there's somebody that you know new love it's saying they're going to surprise you they're a true gem and it can even speak to engagement marriage because of the you know gem diamond ring blonde female someone it could be a redhead or a blonde who's involved in this reading all right let's pull a romance angels card for the last card of this reading all right last card can we get a card for aquarius sun moon rising and venus for december 1st <clears throat> all right children your love life is being affected by children it's safe for you to love is on the bottom so it could be that you want to have kids they have kids or you have kids the queen of swords can speak to a single parent divorcee playfulness it says to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so if things have gotten stale and you know it didn't with this person if you feel like you know they're just a friend and they're not romantic material it's saying try be playful flirt see what happens he says you can recapture romance with this person this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek again this card speaks to overlooking that person because they don't fit your normal type or you know you just didn't it didn't occur to you so let's see that's that four of cups i'll read you this card not seeing that option not even registering it this could be the one this card signals that you've already met the person you romantically seek. Perhaps you're already in a relationship with him or her. The romance angel sent you this card because it seems you're not recognizing or enjoying the full potential of this person and relationship. Sometimes you may overlook someone who's meant for you because you have a different idea of what your partner should look or act like. Take a moment to consider who this might be. The first person to come to mind is probably the one. Next, invite the romance angels into your dreams as you're going to bed. Ask them to give you very clear information about your romantic partner, either in your present relationship or a future one. During sleep, you're more open to angelic guidance. When you awaken, you may not remember your dreams, but you will have a clearer sense of romance and partnership. Take any action you feel called to based on your inner guidance, even if it seems unrelated to your love life. Trust that the angels are leading you toward the one you desire. So, I like this. This is saying these three cards. New love, a new love situation, true gem. Someone's going to surprise you that you didn't 
notice or you overlooked and it's going to be you know someone who's a true gem and it's someone you already know but you're not seeing it because they might not be look or act like what your usual type is and that's why it that's that four of cups not seeing it not seeing it because you're so focused on um getting back out there bouncing back after a painful ending dating um getting things going basically and having fun and healing but it's saying this could be the one and it could have children involved and saying playfulness to try and you know recapture romance with this person through playfulness all right that's your reading aquarius for the first to the 15th i'll have your weeklies out after these thank you for watching take care bye for now